As world leaders gather in Paris at the end of uh, this month, November, and into early December, they face an, a daunting challenge, a challenge on a scale that we've not really seen uh, uh, on the earth for millennia, and that is climate change, the prospect of a significant rise in temperatures. And when they arrive in Paris, they need to be brutally honest. In the last 25 years of trying, as I document in my Carbon Crunch book, not much has been achieved. Things have got substantially worse since 1992 and the UN framework on climate change. And confronting that reality, the leaders also need to understand that we can't crack the problem without substantial advances in technology. Technology is not the enemy of those who wish to address climate change. It's a friend and a really necessary friend uh, for uh, climate mitigation. And when we think about the technology that's coming, the opportunities it provides do give us a glimmer of hope. We're thinking about a world in the next few decades in which the central energy source uh, is increasingly going to be electricity. Gradually, we're in the process of almost electrifying everything. Think not just about the ordinary sources of demand for electricity, but think about electric transport. Think about the electrification of manufacturing. Think about robotics. Think about 3D printing. Think about what the new materials like graphene will bring to the table. This is the world of expanding electricity demand. And the way we use that electricity as well as the way we generate it, will be absolutely central to how we tackle the climate change problem. Now, the electrification of everything is really just the application of the new internet technologies, the digitalization of everything, the ability to convert almost anything and almost any process into a digital story. And at the heart of that lies data. Uh, the new energy systems that are emerging can't just be dumb and passive as they've been for the last uh, century. They need to be smart and active. The demand side is a crucial part of the energy system and the consequence of having an active demand side will be dramatic, not just for customers and for companies, but for the whole structure of the electricity and energy industries. These are amazing opportunities to turn uh, a passive system into an active one. And that's where smart meters, smart grids, indeed smart cities fit into the framework. The data is absolutely essential and to have that data you have to have ways of measuring it. And that's all in a way a smart meter is. It's a smart way of giving to the system as well as the customer, the information they need in order to work out how to optimise the outcomes. And this will mean that we'll be much more energy efficient uh, directly, but it'll mean that the scope to think through new ways of running energy systems and bringing in new technologies elsewhere, for example, renewables, intermittent generation and so on, will be massively enhanced. So rather than thinking, oh well, smart meters are a nice idea, smart uh, grids uh, would be a nice add-on extra. We have to understand that without smart technology uh, measuring consumption and at the household, without the broadband hub, without the industrial uh, smart uh, metering technology, electrification of transport, the digitalization of manufacturing, the and added services available to households. All of these things will be much more expensive and much more difficult to bring through. Smart metering doesn't solve our problems in itself, but it's a necessary condition if we're to get serious about climate change. So if I was at Paris and I was sitting at the table with these world leaders, whilst of course they must discuss caps on emissions from countries like India, China and the United States, and they must talk about uh, transfer of funds. I'd like them to sit down and get really interested in new technology 
and the nitty gritty of actually making the electrification of everything work. And uh, it will be quite surprising, I suppose, but really rather wonderful if they'd have a chat and find the time to make sure that smart meters fit into that framework. Thank you very much.